Welcome back to another tutorial of PyQGIS in the GIS World Academy with Mohammed. Today we will talk about how we can use the algorithms or the comments of the processing toolbox of QGIS in PyQGIS. If you are excited, let's get started. Now in this video we want uh, we want to talk about how we can use uh, the comments of processing toolbox in QGIS directly into the PyQGIS. Uh, as you remember, this is our previous tutorial. So in the in the in this in the session of I think in the, the QGIS how we can download the open data, we have already told you how we can download this type of data. The only thing that I have already added is the streets of this area. So you can download any area that you want. So this is exact area that we used in our tutorial, how we can uh, download the open data from OSM. Okay, anyway, and also I want to go to our Python code. So here maybe, can I have more space here? Exactly. And this is our code from the last session, which was about how we can functionalize the common comments of uh, uh, by QGIS. Okay, first step, maybe we can start with a buffer because buffer it's uh, very easy and uh, we don't need any, I think, specific concept. So, oh, oops, okay, now it's here. So I can run it, maybe we can make it two meters, this rounded, we can see it. Then we will just run it, yes. Now here we have buffer. So now how we can use these type of parameters directly inside the PyQ GIS. Good. Then maybe I can put it on the, my second screen because I need this part. And also this part, we don't need it. Just the only thing that I need is I should bring my PyCharm. So these are the codes that we have already wrote in the previous session. So the first thing that we need is how we can know uh, what are the what is the processing and what what are the processing uh, comments name. How can we import them? Or maybe we can a little bit continue and then when it's it's then when we need it then we can talk about it. So. Okay, so the first things that now we should add is now I don't need buildings, I need streets. So import vector layer so I can name it as a maybe imported streets or imported streets. Then we have a layer, imported vector layer. Then we should give it a name, maybe imported the streets or something like this, or a streets. Anyway, it's not important. Then we will, um, then you can see we will display it, zoom it, and then the first functions that I want to write is def maybe buffer and then. Uh, which type of parameter we need for that. So let me just bring it. I need exactly this one as a param. So the only thing I need to, I will just copy it. And then I will add it directly here. And I will name it as a param. Okay. So maybe we need some more space according to the path 8. So here is our input value. This value is directly come from the uh, come from our my C drive. But here maybe now I can just write the layer. So the layer that I wanna pass to this function. So 
So I believe that directly one QGIS vector layer. Then another thing that we can make it customize maybe this distance value is dense. Maybe I can name it distance. Is okay, great. So now here is our buffer. For running this parameter, we need a processing part. So then I will return this according to the QJS cookbook. So the only thing I need the processing dot run. So the runner part, the runner function part needed. First of all, what is the name of this function in the QGIS. So what is the name of this algorithm? Something like this. So here it should be the name of algorithm, for example. Then another thing we need, the pram. And from the pram, I need the output parameter. Okay, the output parameter. So how can I find this part. So before finding this one, maybe first of all, I should import it. So import processing. Okay, yes. Now, okay, we don't have this error here. And uh, so how we can find this? So I will jump into my QGIS file and I have already wrote one query. So here it is updated. Uh, maybe. Okay. So from if, if we want to get all the naming of these algorithms, we should use QGS, then QGIS application dot processing registry and from processing registry so we are calling algorithm algorithm Hope that I have already write it. Yes, I have already write it correctly. Okay, so you can see that now it has already returned different type of object for us. But you know me definitely. I don't. I want to make from everything a function. So I will take it and I will bring it into my QGIS, and then I will create maybe one function as print all algorithms for example like something like this and in this file i will say that for algorithm in this one yeah then so print the idea of this algorithm, which will be exactly the thing that we need for uh, all of these files, maybe we can do it something like this for having more. So after that, please print. And first of all, that one. Making more space. Then algorithm that is display name good so as you see just we wrote it one time then we can use it as much as possible in our code and also i think qjs also application is coming from the core if i don't make a mistake good then just I will take this, then I will go to my QGIS, I will delete my environment or clean it, this one is. So, oh, sorry, sorry, I make a mistake. I should copy the entire function 
and I will import it. Okay, it's done. Just the only thing I need to call my function. Perfect. You can see that all of the names of the uh, these uh, processing tools comments are printing here. Also, you can customize this function as much as possible. You can add one input, you can give the name, then this exactly return the value that you want. For example, you can see the sources can come from the GDL or from the native. So we are we are we need the native ones. So it is a buffer. We should go to the B buffer. So I need exactly this thing. Okay. So I find the name, just I will rename it here. Good. Then after zooming to layer, I want to write buffered layer. So buffered layer is equal to buffer. And for the buffer, I need a layer plus the distance, for example, two. And then after I create it again, I should, I should display, display vector layer. So display vector layer, it is buffered layer. So now we can test it in our QGIS, our new code. And then let me, maybe we can remove all of them. And then we can run it. Layer is not valid. Let's see why the layer. Oh, it's completely correct because it's a streets. Yes, there you go. Perfect. You see now the name is buffered. It's okay. I like it, but I wanted to write a custom name also for that. So we will jump into the display vector layer. Then we will customize it more. I will give the name, name equal to none first. Maybe I have a layer and I like the name of the layer. I don't want to give any name to that. So I will say that if the name, so in that case, I think you have already know about the conditional statement. We explain it completely clear in our Python tutorial. So if the name in that case, and also I can say that is played layer. So if the name then is played layer, <coughs> sorry, uh, dot, we are setting the name. I hope that it's correct i think so we will test it right now okay then yeah i have also display layer because i don't have any name so the name will be returned none but here i have a layer then i will name it maybe buffered two meters yeah we can name it like Yes. Good. Then maybe definitely we should comment this part. Yes. I, I think because we have already run it, so the layer has already been exported. Good. Then I will maybe I can remove them. Run it again. Layer is not valid. Ah, yes. The streets. Let me save it. Okay, so we can see buffered two meter. Good. Now maybe we can do something else. We are using the functional programming. So in that case, I want to have the buffer of two meter, maybe five, maybe 10 meter. Okay, let's go. Uh, here now we have already zoomed to layer. So maybe I can write a comment creating buffer i think two five and ten meters okay so before that i can write a for loop for 
Istians mean so definitely I can make a one list the most easiest one and the 10 definitely you can use you can add the input value you can get it directly from your input values you can do whatever you want it's very easy so for distance for two meter five meter ten meters or maybe we can reverse this list or i don't want to i don't want to write it again or maybe not now maybe we can do it in our uh in our because next session it is our uh, assignment part the mini project so we can do this part there okay so this stands 10 5 2 because i am i'm thinking about the ordering so first of all 10 will be ordered then 5 and then 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 2 okay uh, buffered underline layer equal to uh, layer so here i should write distance uh, whatever okay good distance and then here i need one f string then here again i need this tense wood also i want to export them yes we can see how how does it work if it is working or not exported offer and here i can write this tens and meter good so i create my output then buffered layer will be my layer yes i think it's done very good i think this one should work properly so i will remove them i will play it again good it's good i'm satisfied if i bring it in top you can see that this is my first layer two meters five meters and ten meters perfect i think we have already done with our first part of tutorial and it's it is exactly the same for example single sided buffer if you open it for example if i give the import of the streets if i run it you can see it gives you again one lock again you should go and find this function inside algorithms okay so if you find these algorithms, you can use it and you can use it very easily. And after some time, you will gather a complete class of uh, functions according to the each class. Then in any code, if one person develop it one time in your team, so you have it in your, in your complete package. Okay, I hope that you have already happy and you are satisfied with this part of our tutorial again same as all of our videos if you like it don't forget to suggest it to your friends if you have any questions don't forget to comment it in the comment section below thanks for your time and thanks for watching this video see you soon in the next video which is the first mini project of PyQGIS.